again, our thoughts and prayers are with the families affected by this and the wider school community. We know there are many going to be affected. We also know that many were there who witnessed this very tragic event. With that, I'll hand over to the Premier. Thank you, Commissioner. Well, today's tragedy at Hillcrest Primary School here in Devonport is devastating and heartbreaking for all involved. It's difficult for me to find the right words uh, in such tragic circumstances, in which, as we just heard, very sadly, four children have passed away. I'm certain that I speak for all Tasmanians in extending my deepest sympathies to the family, friends and loved ones of everyone affected uh, by today's tragedy. For the five children who remain in hospital, our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families and their friends during this very difficult time. On a day when school children were celebrating at the end of term so close to Christmas, it's simply inconceivable that this shocking incident has occurred. We stand ready to provide whatever support we can to the families directly impacted the students, staff and the broader community and importantly also to our emergency services and our first responders who I know have also been affected very deeply. I know that this is a strong and caring community that will stand together and support one another. I know that they will do that with love and kindness to get them through this. I know that I speak for all Tasmanians when I say that we will stand with this community through this difficult time as well. My heart goes out to everyone impacted by this tragic event. And I do want to just mention the helplines that people can reach out to should they need to. If you need support, uh, you can call Lifeline on 131114. The Kids Helpline on 1800 551 800. The Mental Health Helpline on 1800 332 388. Or Beyond Blue on 1300 224 636. I know that this is utterly devastating and heartbreaking for all involved. And as I've said, I know I speak on behalf of all Tasmanians when I say that our thoughts and prayers are with those five children that are still in hospital and our sympathies are with those families and friends and loved ones of the four children who have unfortunately passed away. I'll hand over to Tim Bullard. Thank you, Premier. It's with a heavy heart that I'm here today with the events that have occurred. This is a tragic incident and I want to pass on my deepest sympathies to the families impacted. I know personally that Hillcrest Primary School is a close-knit community where our staff work hard to care for and support our learners. And I also acknowledge the immense impact that today's events has had and will have on those staff. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the first responders. My thoughts are also with you. Today's tragedy is something that will have a deep impact on the Northwest community. And our immediate priority is supporting the children, families and staff so deeply impacted. We're coordinating a range of services as a critical response to support students, families and staff. And our approach is being guided by our senior psychologists who are trained in trauma-informed practice. We have a team of professional support staff on site to provide immediate support to students and staff and this includes our psychologists, social workers and chaplains. These staff will also be on site tomorrow, with ongoing support being provided through the weekend and going into the holidays. If you are a Hillcrest family, a member of our school community, please phone the school for support. What has occurred today is a tragedy and there are no words that I can give that will take away the grief that those impacted families are feeling right now. What we can do is wrap our support and love around the Hillcrest School community. And what you can do is wrap your support and love around each other, your families and yourselves. 
because this will impact us all in some way. Thanks, Tim. Okay, uh, open for questions. So how many children um, there is an investigation underway on behalf of the coroner. We, um, those investigations are continuing to find out that information so we can hand it on to the coroner. Can you tell us what it is to anchor down the Jumping Castle at this stage? Again, it's important to recognise that uh, people are still grieving. Uh, we're still at the, uh, at the scene uh, investigating those matters. So that'll all be included uh, in the investigation along with work safety be given to the coroner. But our main role here now is to investigate and also support the community. In relation to their, uh, their health condition and which hospital they're at, it's, uh, I'd rather not say because uh, they are receiving the best medical care in Tasmania. So rather than give away where they are at the moment, it's about um, they're at the best uh, hospital to get the best care they possibly can. But they are staying uh, At the moment, and those conditions, as we know, um, can change uh, rapidly. So um, they are getting the best care in the, uh, the best hospital system in Tasmania to make sure they got the appropriate care. Um, they were grade six, and again, I don't want to go into their ages, but they were uh, grade six. Um, it is an emotional day for everyone uh, who's uh, tragically impacted by today. I've already seen pictures of uh, police officers uh, quite upset, as you'd expect any emergency services and teachers. Everyone is affected in some way. We have a. Uh, a welfare um, team already on the way up to us uh, provide support to the emergency services. I know education, as uh, Mr Bullard said, has got their support services uh, coming uh, up today to make sure that support is provided. So we have a um, sadly a well rehearsed um, uh, health and wellbeing support service to everyone involved. And is it WorkSafe that's investigating the incident? Or? It's Tasmania Police take the lead uh, to investigate on behalf of the coroner uh, along with WorkSafe. Uh, as you'd expect, it's, uh, the police are still on the scene uh, investigating. It will take uh, quite some time. Uh, sadly, there is a number of people and witnesses there that need to be interviewed. So it will take quite some time uh, and will be guided by the coroner. And as I said, uh, the coroner uh, has already been there and we've spoken to the coroner to uh, receive guidance. Uh, the advice I would give anyone in relation to these circumstances, take the advice from the Education Department. They have well rehearsed uh, and uh, clear information about supporting those children. They will be reaching out to the school community to make sure they've got the best advice, to make sure that uh, anyone who's uh, having any issues get the support that they need. Sadly, it's one of the the, uh, the uh, most uh, serious tragedy that any of us are going to experience. Anything involving children affects us all. You know, many of us are, uh, are parents, so it affects us all. And uh, this is a, a sad day for Devonport. But I also know the community will rally around to support those affected, um, either indirectly and directly. So it is a very sad day. Uh, there is a number of incident, uh, witnesses to this incident and again that's where the investigation will continue to find out uh, how many people were involved, uh, impacted and also witnessed the event so we can get a, a clearer picture of what happened. And obviously this is a tight community. What would you say to people that you know, might necessarily have connections to the school but were affected in the community? How, do you have any suggestions for how they should grieve going forward? Um, if anyone finds themselves affected in any way, you don't have to be at a, uh, an, a scene like this to be actually be impacted. You only have to be a, uh, a parent or a caring uh, person that is going to be in, uh, impacted. So as the Premier read out those support numbers, I would encourage people to actually reach out to those support numbers and get the support that they need. It'll impact us all in some way. The investigation will look at all aspects of this, uh, this uh, sad and tragic situation to make sure there is a clear uh, report given to the coroner. And again, we go under the, um, the auspice and the direction of the coroner.
Yes, we're, our scientific and forensic uh, uh, people have uh, drones who get an overview of the situation again, so we can piece together what happened and give the best uh, information to the coroner as part of the inquest. We can only, uh, well, we can't imagine uh, the tragedy in, um, on anyone uh, involved in this situation for the loved ones and families. And as you said, being close to Christmas, it uh, just makes it that's so much more um, tragic and, and sadder. So it affects us all. And Christmas time, it's, as you said, any time of the year is, uh, is, uh, is sad, but Christmas coming up, it just makes us stop and think about the tragedy that uh, families and friends and loved ones are going through. Okay. Uh, probably it's uh, a separate situation. That's um, so we can all absorb what's going on. And um, so, if there's any other questions, we might uh, break off for now. Okay. Thanks, everyone.